Caught in the act, a robbery in the Ecuadorian capital Quito is recorded on cameras and reviewed by a security team a few kilometers away. And in this footage, a mugging that ended in the arrest of suspects after live images triggered a call out by police. The number of CCTV cameras is rapidly increasing in Ecuador. Two years ago, there were 400 cameras on the country's streets. Today, there are more than 2,000 and this number is expected to double before the end of the year. The operational limits will be set by necessity, and necessity is what people need. Every day we receive hundreds of letters asking us to put cameras in their neighborhoods. People want to be protected. The cameras are part of a government plan to curb violence and delinquency. And so far it's been working. In 2013, the murder rate decreased by a quarter. An improvement in part associated with the plan, as it is the first time that all security forces are centered in one place. And after streets, parks, airports and stadiums, the plan is to put cameras on public transport too, including taxis. Before the end of the year, 55,000 bus and taxis will be equipped with a camera on top of the ones on the streets. A $270 million project that's both concerning and reassuring. It enables people to feel safer, and us too. But people are afraid to speak about politics and the president, afraid that they might be punished one day. Questions of privacy are already raised in Ecuador, where there's currently no law restricting the use of surveillance cameras. We don't intend to violate private life, but one day we will have to look into the possibility of people calling for help from home, if I'm kidnapped or if someone violently enters my house. Cameras at home could be the next step, boosting security at the cost of privacy in Latin America's emerging surveillance state.